Okay, good morning everybody. Today we are going to start with our topic and let me show you the information. Okay. Our end in mind for today is identify whether a verb is regular or irregular in simple past. Our agenda is an active pause, verbs in present and in past, identify when a verb is regular or irregular, identify a circle, the verb in past, learning logbook at page 80, activity one, Learning logbook at page 81, activity two. And we are going to check your suggest activity, yes? In this moment, you are going to stand up. Stand up, everybody. Stand up, stand up, everybody. Stand up, stand up. Stand up, everybody. Stand up. Stand up, one. Stand up, two. And everybody stand up. Okay. I am going to say something and you are going to do the action. For example, touch your head. Touch your head. Touch your head. Your head. Your head. Touch your head. Valeria, touch your head. Your head, Valeria. Sebastián Servín, stand up. And do the movements. Sebastián Servín, stand up. Touch your head, touch your head. Okay, touch your nose, touch your nose, your nose, your nose. Touch your neck, touch your neck. What is your neck? Your neck, this is your neck. Touch your neck, everybody, touch your neck. Okay, touch your shoulders, touch your shoulders. Your shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. Okay, jump, 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 jump everybody. Dance, dance everybody. Dance, 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 dance. Ooh. Okay, sit down, thank you, sit down, thank you. Thank you everybody, thank you. Okay, let's continue with the information. Okay, this is our agenda. And now I am going to change the screen. Okay. Here is an example of a verb. Look at the screen. This is present. The, the the verb in in blue color is 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 the verb that we are going to use in past for example the first example is i play football in past i played with ed i play football okay look at this part of the verb look at this part this part do the past in the verb. In the first verb, in this verb in blue, the verb is only with P L A Y. When you use past, we need to add E D. But at the time of speaking, we only pronounce played with without E. Played. Repeat with me. Played. Played. Okay. Look at the following example. <clears throat> the next example is, okay, we are going to do an action. For example, I am going to say a verb and you are going to transform the verb in past. Only you need to add ed, okay? I am going to start with Cesar Fidel. Cesar Fidel, my verb is walk. You need to tell me the verb in past. 
What is the past of the verb walk? Walked. 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 The pronunciation is walked. Okay, thank you. The next example is for David Jesus. David Jesus, my verb is drink. You need to use drink. 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 Excellent. The next example is for uh, Luis Enrique. Jump. Jumped. Jumped. Excellent. The next example is for Valeria Itzayana. Valeria. Watch. 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 Excellent. Watch. And um, the next example is for Jared. Yummy. Okay. Your verb is clap. Clap it. Clapped. But there are examples in, in cases we need to add ed. Okay. There are another examples in which the verb change completely. We are going to see these examples in this moment. Look at this. This is the other example. And he acts like a clown. And the past, he acted like a clown. My mom cooks in present delicious food. In past, my mom cooked delicious food yesterday. Okay? Now we are going to watch the following chart. Look at the following chart. It's very important. We have verbs like help, feel, mix, jump, and pick. We need to add ed, as I mentioned in the past. We need to eat, to add ed, ed in all the cases, ed, ed, to make a verb in past, help, feel, mixed, jumped and picked, okay? Excellent, let's continue. Now, what is the verb that you remember in the chart? For example, Marcos, mention a verb that was written in the chart. Mention a verb, please. Mention a verb that was written in the chart. Chart? No. I show you a chart with different verbs. You need to mention one of the verbs that was written in the chart. Cecia, mention a verb, please. Mixed. Mixed. And the past, Cecia? Mixed. Excellent. Mixed. Thank you. Aranza, mention another verb, please. Help. Help. And the past? Help. Helped. Helped. Excellent. Helped. Luis oh. Enrique, mention another verb. Clean. Repeat, please. Clean. Clean. In the chart was the verb clean. No. In the chart wasn't the verb clean. What was the verb? The verb in the chart. Gretel. Chart. No. Emiliano. Perdón, sorry, Emilio. Sorry, sorry. Emilio. No importa, teacher. 
Sorry. Uh, Emilio. Places? Uh, in the chart. Remember that I show you a chart with different verbs? Do you remember the verbs that was written in the chart? Okay, don't worry. And Valeria, mention a verb written in the chart. Jump. Jump. And the past, Valeria? Jump it. Jumped. Jared, another verb, please. Pick. Pick. And past? Pick it. Picked, picked, okay, picked. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with the information. Look again the chart to remember help, feel, mix, jump, and pick. You need to mention these verbs, these kind of verbs. Okay? Okay. In this moment, in this moment, you are going to, oh, sorry. In this moment, you are going to watch this, this part of the verbs. In the first column, I have present. In the second, I have past. And in the third column, the, I have um, an instruction that tell me if it is a regular verb or an irregular verb. Okay, for example, jump is regular verb and is jumped. Pull, the pass is pulled and is a regular verb. Open is a regular verb and the pass is opened. Visit, visited is a regular verb. But in the last, in the last part, in the second part, I have a different verbs. For example, sit, that is present, but sat, that is past. Say, present, save, past. Come, present, came, past. Fall, present, fell, past. You have 30 seconds to watch this table to try to analyze the verb you are going to make a sentence, okay? 30 seconds. One. Okay. For example, Ian Aron, I am going to say the verb in present and you are going to mention the verb in past, okay? Aron, yes? Your verb is sit. What is the past? Uh, Repeat, please. Sat. Sat. Sí, sat. Thank you. Uh, David, David Alexander. Swim. What is the past of verb swim? Do you know what is the past of the verb swim? David? No? Yes or not? What is the past of verb swim? One, two, three. Emilio, what is the past of verb swim? Uh, 
street? No. Alexis. Swim? Swim. What is the past of verb swim? Swam. Swam. Excellent. Swam. Swam is the past of the verb swim. Swim and swam. Jared, tell me the past of the verb come. Come. The past of the verb come. Okay. Came. The past of the verb fall, Valeria. Fell. Fell, excellent. And now, uh, Mariana, the past of the verb say. Say. Say, excellent, say. Uh, thank you. Let's continue with the verbs. Let's read the following sentence and circle the verb in past. In your language notebook, you are only write the verb in past. You are not going to write the verb in present. Only you are going to write the verb in past. Look at each sentence and write the verb in past. You have one minute, one minute to write the verb in past. Do you finish, Emilio? No. Okay. Cecia, do you finish? Thank you. Valeria, do you finish? Because your hand is on the screen. Okay. Alexis, do you finish? Luis Enrique, do you finish? Yes. Thank you. Diego, do you finish? Diego, do you finish? Servin, do you finish? Sí. Okay. Okay, let's start with David Alexander. David Alexander, tell me what is the first verb in past? Please, David. Your microphone, David. Something happened with the microphone of David, now with the camera. I can see David.
Okay, speak aloud, David. What is the verb? Mm, sorry, David, I can see. We are going to wait a minute while David fix the microphone, okay? And we are going to ask for Sebastian uh, Servin. What is the first verb in past? Walking. The first Walking. In, in the first sentence. In the first sentence, they say, "I look at the monkeys I... in cage." What is the verb in past? Servin. Look. Looked. Looked. Excellent. The next sentence is for. Let me see. The next sentence is for Leonel Tristan. What is the verb in past? Play it. This is the only verb in past. Jump bet. Jump. Um, this is the only verb in past. Play it. Played, Play it. jumped. That's all. Ate. Ate, played, and Eight. jumped. Excellent. Me? Tell me. Ah, es que antes no me podía escuchar. Ah, okay, yes, yes. Number three, David. Uh, sentence number three, please. The verb in past. What? Uh, the uh, number three. They ate bananas so quickly. Okay, jumped. Uh, Marcos, Marcos ahí. The sentence, they ate the bananas so quickly. What is the verb in past, Marcos? The, at. Eight, excellent. Frida, Frida, Sofia. I saw how the monkeys held their children. What is the verb in past? I saw how the monkeys held their children. So? Uh, what? So. And this is the only verb in past? Uh, Repeat, please. Uh, held. The verb is so and held. And finally, the last sentence is for Mariana Lisette. I went to zoo last Sunday. Mariana. One Repeat, please, because your microphone is not uh, completely clear. What? Went. Excellent. Went. Thank you. Okay. As you notice, I am going to to highlight the verbs in past looked. Eight, played, jumped, eight, jumped, so, held, went. All of these are verbs in past. Okay, in this moment, you are going to tell me one verb in past, whatever verb that you want. You are going to think in one verb and you are going to tell me in past. Mariana Ramirez. <clears throat> Mariana? Repeat, please, Jump. Mariana. Jumped. Okay, the next verb, Cesar. Room. 
Uh, give me a second. Give me a second. Diego, no puedes estar jugando y tener tu cámara apagada. Si no, te voy a sacar a la sala de espera. ¿Ok, Diego? Ok. Jared, another verb, please. Don't. Don't. Talk. Ok, thank you. Another verb, please, Enrique. Uh, walk it. Walked. Excellent. Walked. Another verb, Aranza. Another verb, in past, Aranza. Look. Looked. Look. Excellent. Thank you. Alexis, another verb. Eight. Eight. Valeria. Take. Repeat, please. Take. Uh, in past, because take is in present. You need to tell me the verb in past. Took. 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 Excellent. <clears throat> Take and took. Emilio, another verb. Another verb, Emilio. Ati. And repeat, please. A T is eight. The pronunciation is eight. Eat and eight. Okay? okay. Thank you. Um, Cecia, another verb. Come, came. Come, came. Excellent. Okay. As you notice, there are a lot of verbs that you can use in past. Let's continue with the information. <clears throat> Sorry, this is not the screen. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. In this moment, you are going to use your book at page 80, your learning log book at page 80, okay? <clears throat> Dice, what the words in bold have in common? What the words in bold have in common? Do you know what the words in bold have in common? Ian. Can you tell me what the words in bold have in common? Ian? Two, uh, what the words in bold have in common? You can speak in Spanish and tell me what the words in bold have in common. Repeat, please. Destruye. Uh, no. The words in bold don't have in common destruction. What are the words in bold have in common? Show me your hands if you want to answer the question. What oh. the words in bold have in common? Alexis. 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 Yeah. 
Tell me, what the word symbol have in common? No escuché más. Can you repeat? What the words in bold have in common? At page 80. Your microphone, your microphone. ¿Que son verbos en pasado? Yes, of course. All of these are verbs in past. Okay, all the words in bold are verbs in past. For example, suffer is a verb in past. Past, ask, bought, told, destroyed, gather, went, let's, and all of them are in past. Okay, all of them are in past. Now, look at this. <clears throat> You need to classify the verbs in irregulars and irregular verbs, okay? For example, all the verbs that we saw in the last page, you are going to organize according with the, the form of the verb. If the verb, you need to add ev in the past, is a regular verb. But if the form of the verb change completely, it's an irregular verb. I am going to give you two minutes to complete the activity, okay? Two minutes to complete the activity. And then you are going to tell me what is the verbs that you wrote in each square, okay? Do you finish to organize the verbs in past? Show me your hands if you finish. The time is just about to finish. You need to enter again if you are out, yes? 